What's up, TikTok? Ready to level up your grammar game? In today's video, I will unravel a tricky rule in grammar that can make a huge difference in your writing. Let's get started. Today's grammar rule is conditional sentence type 3 and it expresses a hypothetical situation in the past that didn't occur. Conditional sentences type 3 uh, uses past perfect in if clause and uh, the conditional perfect in the main clause. So we have a complex sentence composed of two clauses. The first clause that starts with F is called if clause and the second clause is called main clause. So the verb of uh, if clause must be past perfect, I mean had plus verb 3, while the verb of the main clause must be conditional perfect, I mean model plus perfect infinitive. What do we mean by perfect infinitive? Perfect infinitive means have only plus verb 3. So we can't write has or have, only have all the time. Have plus verb 3. Because of course you know that with verb 3 we use have or has. But here we have before them model. And after the model we must use uh, verb 1. So we take verb 1 of have which is have alright so that's what we call model perfect infinitive perfect it means verb 3 while infinitive it means the infinitive of verb to have which is have of course you know that has means verb 1 plus as so it's abnormal verb irregular verb so we can't say have we change have to has so we couldn't use has uh, after the model we must use have uh, and after have we use verb 3 so the verb will be uh, the model plus have plus verb 3 that's what we call model perfect infinitive so in if we close we suppose a condition that happened in the past and in the main clause, we express the result related to it, and that happened in the past too. For example, we could say, if she had studied hard, she would have passed the exam. But she didn't study hard in the past, and she didn't pass the exam. And here are some other examples to understand them very well. If I had known that it was going to rain, I would have brought my umbrella. But I didn't know that it was going to rain and I didn't bring my umbrella. He would have caught the train if he had left home earlier but he didn't catch the train and he didn't leave his home earlier. And there are two ways to write the conditional sentences type 3. You can start by the if clause, then you, you write comma, then you write the main clause. Uh, so we write comma to separate between the two clauses. While if you start by the main clause, uh, then you write if you close so in this case if will separate between the two clauses as in the previous example if they had listened to the advice they wouldn't have such problems but they didn't listen to the advice and they faced such problems she would have been on time if her car hadn't broken down, but she wasn't uh, on time because her car broke down. 
if we had booked tickets in time, we could have attended the concert. But we didn't book tickets in time and we didn't attend the concert. They would have won the game if the goalkeeper uh, hadn't made the mistake. But they didn't win the game because the goalkeeper made the mistake. If you had told me earlier, I could have helped you with the project, but you didn't tell me earlier and I didn't help you. We would have had a better vacation if the weather hadn't been so bad, but we didn't have a better vacation because the weather was so bad. If he had taken the job, he would have gained valuable experience, but he didn't take the job and he didn't gain valuable experience. And the last example is, she would have known the answer if she had studied the material thoroughly, but she didn't know the answer because she didn't study the material thoroughly. And now our journey comes to the end. I appreciate your spending this time with me. Until the next video, take it easy. Bye-bye.